Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about cleaning your handgun. And you say, but Paul, I don't clean my gun. I just continuously dump lube on it all the time and never clean it and it works great. Okay, eventually it's gonna stop working. Every once in a while, you have to clean your guns. I know modern guns, modern handguns, are, uh, they run very well, but every once in a while, get the funk and gunk and nastiness out of them. This is the Canic TP9 Long Slide, the TP9L. Step number one, remove the magazine source, or the ammo source, there we go. Step number two, make sure there's no ammunitions in it. All right, I put my little finger in there and I look, so two man rule. Step number three, point it in a safe direction, which is over there. Press the trigger, pull down on the release, slide off, pull out the spring, and then pull out the long barrel and set it down and boom, I'm done. All right, I'm completely disassembled for maintenance. You don't need to take it down any farther for maintenance. What do I have for my gun cleaning accessories? Super simple, shop rags. Go to your local uh, discount store or auto parts store and buy a bag of these. Just buy a big old bag of shop rags. You'll never regret it. Okay, super simple. Frog Lube Extreme. That's right, the Extreme CLP and the solvent. There you go. And I also have a new product here. It's called the Barrel Buddy. Looks like that. You take them out and they look like this. And we'll use those in a little bit. And the only other thing, uh, things that I need, a general purpose, all purpose brush. You got these when I, well, if you're in the military, you have these. If not, you probably got them from a surplus store or something. And some type of a push rod. There you go. All right, what do we want to focus on first? Number one, what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the receiver in this rag so I don't get the solvent all over myself. And I'm just going to squirt it down like that. And you, make the, you have to make the noises with your mouth. You have to go when you make that. So Then I've already put solvent on my brush. I did that off camera. And I'm going to scrub inside where the magazine would sit. These parts don't generally get all that dirty. But uh, go ahead and take care of them. Get any of the any grit, sand, funk, or what have you out of there. Scrub it out, wipe it off. It doesn't take that long. Now, right here in your slide, you're gonna wanna get in the back area where the firing pin is and so forth, and of course the bolt face. So again, there we go. Squirt that in there. I'm gonna rub it around, scrape it, scrub it, scrub it. You wanna get where your extractor is and your firing pin hole, in case you've shot these a lot and you have a lot of carbon build up on them. And I always start with a dry rag so that I can reach in there and kinda of dry. Now it'll air dry, this will air dry itself, but I like to help it out. Now as far as the barrel's concerned, this is, uh, it's not that difficult. I sh probably should have uh, added one other thing to my kit here, a pair of uh, rubber gloves or whatever, your doctor gloves. For some reason, I don't have them here, but that's okay, because I forgot. I'm gonna take the solvent and I'm gonna squirt it into the chamber, like that. There we go. Now, the barrel buddies, they have a soft squishy side and then they have like a plastic scrubby side. You put the scrubby side in first. So I'll stick that in the chamber. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hard rod and I'm gonna push it all the way through. So I pushed my hard rod through there and it came out kind of gray. So I'll do another one. And what that does is it pushes the solvent all the way through the rifle grooves. And as you push, you can feel the, the rifle grooves turning it. That's actually not that bad, not that bad at all. Now that I'm done with that, what I'll do is I'll wipe off my brush. I'm gonna take my Frog Lube Extreme Inch. Now, where do you need to lube a gun? A firearm, you just need to lube it where the steel parts rub against the steel parts or anywhere that could rust. So I'm gonna put a little bit on that rail and a little bit on that rail and a little bit on the, on the counter, on the table here. I'm gonna spread it around. Uh, obviously in pistols you want to make sure that your slide rails 
are well lubricated. You don't need to, uh, I mean it doesn't need to be crazy, but you want to make sure there's some in there. Anywhere that metal is going to rub or slide against metal, you want to have a little bit of lube. Now I'm not going to put a lot, but I'm going to put a little bit of lube of the Frog Lube COP on the tip of this barrel buddy here. Not a lot. There we go. Ooh, I'm actually going to wipe some of that off and put it on the cloth. And then I will put this into the chamber and push it all the way through. There we go. So I just got a little bit of Frog Lube COP in the lands and grooves. That should do me. Not going crazy here. Now I do assemble it. I just put it back together the way, the opposite of the way I took it apart. And if you don't know, refer to your owner's manual. You go put your owner's manual together. All right. And then I assemble it. Now, because I just had this gun apart, I'm going to function check it and put the magazine in. Pull it back. All right. Work, slide lock works. I'll remove this. Forward, safe direction again. Press the trigger. Hold the trigger down. I'm going to manually work the slide. Ah, the reset works. All right. So there we go. What I just did was I completely disassembled my Canic TP9 pistol. I cleaned it, I lubricated it, I put it back together, and I performed a function check. Easy as that. So I pushed my hard rod through there, 